hey, we'll need some help solving this creepy mystery. Like, how about typing in your name before we start? Nothing to be afraid of. This must be it. Gadzooks! I found it! This is it, gang. We made it. Groovy! The Great Pyramid! That's where we're headed. I promised my cousin Thelma would meet her at the entrance. Take a look at this picture she sent me. Wow, you two look a lot alike. She's a dinkly, all right. Like what is your cousin doing in Egypt? Yeah! She's an Egyptologist, Shaggy. She studies the ancient culture and artifacts of the Old and Middle Kingdoms. Huh? Why could you say that again, in English? What Velma means is, she solves mysteries about history. Like, why didn't she say so? Let's get down there, everybody. We've got promises to keep. And cheeseburgers to eat before we sleep. <laughs> There's the entrance. Let's get going. Mommy! Like, let's get out of here! Wait! We can't leave. My cousin Thelma is supposed to be in the pyramid. She's right. We have to find her. Plus, it looks like we've got a mystery to solve. Let's go. That pyramid is a house of mystery. Oh, yeah, and mummies. Let's take it along. It could come in handy. Suspects and clues. Perhaps something else. Let's head toward the pyramid. Uh -oh. Like, forget it. I'm not going over there. Would you do it for a Scooby snack? I think we have one left. Let's move, gang. Well, gang? We've got a mystery to solve. Like, let's solve it before dinner. I'm starved! We better keep looking. Welcome, my friends. I wish to offer you all the charms of ancient Egypt. May I interest you in a scepter or a magical hedgehog? Um, no, thank you. Or perhaps uh, this Egyptian flute. Its tooth is uncommon. We're looking for our friend Thelma. Uh, who are you? I, my intrepid investigators, am Joseph. I am a purveyor of quality merchandise and quality information. My friends! Still sleuthing, I see. Flashlight? It sure is, Scoob. It's a flashlight shaped like a pyramid. Hey, can we borrow this, Joseph? We're always creeping around dark places. Of course, my friends. And please, Visit me here as often as you like. Or come visit me in the bazaar, and I'll show you my wares. 
Ma El Salama. That means goodbye. Jeepers! Where did he go? I have no idea. We'd better keep looking. Let's go. The Great Pyramid. Let's go take a look. This looks like the entrance to the pyramid. We should go in. My cousin Thelma might be in there. Yes, this is where she was supposed to meet us. <laughs> uh -oh. Like we're not going in there. Uh -oh. Like there is no way we're going in there. Would you do it for two Scooby Snacks? On second thought, there's nothing to be afraid of. Out of Scooby Snacks. Better find some more. Let's keep moving. Remember, things aren't always what they seem. Come on, gang. We have some exploring to do. And a mystery to solve. Looks like we found the center of town, gang. Well, I'm lovely. Like maybe we can find some delicious kashari. We're looking for clues, Shaggy, not lunch. Huh? Like, can't we look for both? Let's check around. It looks like there's a lot to do here. Food. Food. <laughs> Glorious food. Like we've hit the jackpot. Do you have any cash on you, Scoob? Ah! Help! Zoinks! Those screwy birds are messing up our meal! Uh -oh. Like we've got to stop them! Scooby-Doo to the rescue! Good gracious, my friend. This will be tricky. Move Scooby left and right with the mouse. Try and catch as much food as you can. But watch out for the birds. <laughs> well done. Groovy. Very good. Grand! Great! Congratulations! Well done! Groovy! Very good! Grand! Congratulations. Well done. Groovy. <laughs> Very good. Look at all the beautiful rugs. Let's go. Hmm. There's no one here. Let's keep moving. We've got to find Velma's cousin. Let's keep moving. Remember, things aren't always what they seem. That looks like some sort of pizza restaurant. Like, did you say b -b 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 pizza? Pizza? Let's go. Jinkies, this place is deserted. Right, guys? Guys? Come on.
Come on, clues first, then food. Oh! Hey, look! What can we win here? See if you can find a nickel anywhere. Napkin? Forget about napkins. I want some food. Well, I'll take it along. With you two around, it's bound to come in handy. Well, gang, let's get moving. Well, moving. Boy, that sure is a weird market thing. You mean bizarre. I'll say. Come on, gang. We've got to keep one step ahead of the mummy. Well, gang, we've got a mystery to solve. Like, let's solve it before dinner. I'm starved. Let's go back to the pyramid. I have a feeling we're missing something. Into the pyramid we go. Oh, boy. Come on, gang. We've got to keep one step ahead of the mummy. This sure is a creepy corridor. Corn dogs? Sorry, Scoob. I don't see a corn dog stand anywhere. It's like a big stone house. Don't forget, it's also a tomb. This is where the pharaohs were buried. Let's split up. Daphne and I will go check out this room. Jeepers! Just look at this place! You said it, Daphne. I wonder what all these statues represent. I remember reading that they represent the important characters in the Pharaoh's life. Some are mythological figures, some are friends, and some are servants. This looks like some sort of map. It looks like the map of an archaeological site. Look here, Daphne. This map might lead to something important. This could come in handy. If only we had some way to take it with us. It looks too heavy to move. What do you have there, Fred? It's a notebook, like a journal. It belongs to Velma's cousin, the archaeological journal of Velma Dinkley. According to this, she was chasing the mummy too. Let's hold on to it. I bet Velma will want to see it. Boy, I sure hope Thelma's all right. But we still need something to write with. But we still need something to write with. That's not it. Let's try again. Let's go back and rejoin the others. March 14th, afternoon. Let's split up. Velma, why don't you and Shaggy and Scooby go check out what's over there? Just look at all of the sarcophagi. Huh? That's what these ancient coffins are called. these creepy mummies, Scoob? You bet! What? What was that? Jinkies! Daphne's gone! She's disappeared! Come on, we gotta find her!
Come on, boys. Let's look over here. Mummies? This must be the king's chamber. It's got more mummies than a piano recital. Jinkies, where did you come from? I often do, uh, research in the pyramid. I am an art historian. My name is Helmut Pith. Helmut Pith? From the University of East Prussia. What's that you're holding? Ah, this is an Ushabti from the Pharaoh's tomb. Very fine and very rare. They represent the Pharaoh's servants in the afterlife. Like, isn't the Pharaoh gonna be a little short-handed if you keep sticking his servants in your pocket? Say, who are you? And why do you ask so many questions? We're looking for our friend Daphne. She's disappeared. I'll help you find your friend, but first you must help me. I'm missing a green jade Ushabti. You must find it for me. We'll do our best. Come on, gang, we better hurry. Oh boy, I got sand in my pocket protector. We'd better hurry, we've got to find Daphne. We've got to find Daphne. I'll look over here. No Daphne in here. I gotta keep looking. Find Daphne. Let's keep looking. She has to be around here somewhere. Daphne, here we come! Scooby Dooby Doo! Great! More coffins! <laughs> well done, my new friends. You have proven yourself to be most intrepid explorers. Take this. I found it in the pyramid. It might be useful. Suspects and clues. It seems a little bird-brained to just leave your feathers lying around. Someone must have been in an awful hurry. Look at this ancient sarcophagus. There seems to be something missing. Something shaped like a woman. Like what a groovy coffin. I wonder what goes in this space. It's a staircase. Let's check it out. Like where did Helmet go? Yeah, Helmet! The noise must have scared him off. Come on guys, let's see what's down here. We should check out this gloomy secret passage. Ooh, great! A gloom with a view! Shaggy? Scooby? Daphne? Daphne? It's a medallion. It looks like half of a scarab. find her like we didn't so much find her as we bumped into each other where were you that torch on the wall opened up the door to a secret passageway 
This place must be full of secret passageways. That must be how the mummy gets around. Here we go again. Back to the land of the mummies. Mummies? I sure hope so. We've got to catch that mummy. Let's move, gang. Let's move, gang. Let's see if Joseph can give us any more clues. Hmm. There's no one here. Let's keep moving. We've got to find Velma's cousin. Well, gang, let's get moving. Well, moving. This looks familiar. Sure does, Scoob. We're back to where we started. Here we go. Like that big old sphinx sure is creepy. Cat. Cat? Where? It's a sphinx. Half man, half lion. Scholars say it's the image of the ancient pharaoh Khafra. Like he must have had a hard time buying pants. Jinkies! Tracks! I wonder where they lead. Come on, gang. Let's keep moving. Good thinking, Fred. We've got a mystery to solve. Like, we've walked all the way to the ocean. It's not an ocean, silly. It's the Nile River. It starts in Uganda and travels north all the way to Egypt, almost 2,000 miles away. Wow! Let's check out the wharf for clues. Ahoy there! Did you hear something? Ahoy! Huh? Like, it's coming from the boat. Get me out of here! Sounds like somebody's in trouble. Pull me up, won't you? Click on a fish and you can throw it into the barrel. When there's just enough fish in the barrel, the weight will pull me up. Too heavy, my friends. Try again. Well done. Keep at it. You'll get it soon enough. Well done. Well done! Well, thanks, my mateys. You've saved me from quite a scare. Some bandagey bandit pushed me down that hole. The mummy Hmm, it might have been at that. I'm glad you came along. You use those ropes like an old sea hand. I'm Ishmael Masthead. I ferry cargo boats across the Nile. What do you carry? Oh, this and that. What are you folks doing around these parts? We're searching for clues about the mummy. Well, that scurvy scum, eh? Seems there's been a lot of interest for that lately. I've seen some folks digging around the old ruins. I didn't like the looks of them, I'll warrant you. Whereabouts be the... Uh, where might we find these ruins? So jump in my skiff and I'll take you over to have a gander. Huh? He means get in the boat. Aye, it's a fine day for a sale. That'll be two pounds fifty. Why, thank you. I have lost a little weight. We do. He means pounds as in money. Here you go, sir. Well, I don't want you to leave empty-handed. But here's something that might help you with your clue finding. I found it down on the quayside. Suspects and clues. What a shot. It's a photograph of Thelma at the dig site. Who's that she's with? Jeepers! Just look at this place! It looks like there's a major archaeological dig going on here. Like I wonder what they're looking for. Whatever it is, something tells me it has something to do with this mystery. this stuff it's charcoal and you can write with it let's take it along back on the boat everybody 
I'm sorry you didn't find what you were looking for. Like we're not empty-handed. Empty stomach. Don't worry. I have a feeling we'll be back. Crumbling cod, I forgot to give you your change. Here's some Egyptian coins. Those could be useful. Here you go, then. Come on, gang. Let's go back the way we came. Sure. I'd love some lemonade. Me too. I didn't say lemonade. Sure. I'd love a ham sandwich. Boy. That old sphinx sure is mysterious. Yeah! Did you see the way it was smiling at me? Come on, gang. We've got to keep one step ahead of the mummy. Well, gang, we've got a mystery to solve. Like, let's solve it before dinner. I'm starved! Let's go, guys. I'll bet there's a lot more of the pyramid to explore. Let's get in there. We've got a mystery to solve. Where to, gang? Lunch! I'm with you, Scoob! Come on, Fred. Let's check out the servants' chamber again. Maybe we've missed something. We have the napkin and the charcoal, Fred. Let's use them to trace this map. It's working. And look, there's some writing coming through. The poinsettia stone. I bet this is a clue. It sure is. Now we can take a copy of the map with us. That's not it. Let's try again. That's not it. Let's try again. That goes back to the hallway. Let's go. about that let's move gang let's keep moving remember things aren't always what they seem let's head back to town like more food related activities please <laughs> Oh, I could go for a glass of a seer. Like Gazoonite. A seer means juice. Maybe this couple would like to talk. Come on, clues first, then food. Oh. oh. Yep, it's a scorcher. <laughs> the old songs remind me of happier times. Like, let's check it out. I love a good game. Yeah. To stop the spinning lights, press the big button. Around and round and around she goes. Where she stops determines what prize you win. What a box of Scooby Snacks! Scooby Dooby Doo! Hmm, let's order a root beer. My treat. You look just like the young lady that was showing us around. You mean my cousin Thelma? You've seen her? Well, now, I believe that was her name, yes. She was supposed to meet us at the Sphinx yesterday, but never showed up. Darndest thing. She seems so sweet and all. We're from Kansas, you see. Yes, we're tourists. <laughs> like no kidding. And she was kind enough to show us some sights. Wonder where she wandered off to. So do we. It's our anniversary! 32 years just flew by, <laughs> I'll tell you what!
and we can't remember the tune to the song we used to dance to. Trying to figure it out on these bottles. Can you give us a hand? I'll play the notes on these bottles. First one, then two, then more. See if you can match what I play. Hooray! That's it! Thank you so much! Thank you ever so much! Such a pretty tune. Here, we want you to have this. Maybe it will help you find your cousin. Suspects and clues. What a fancy button. It's got a nice anchor on it. Who would have this weighing them down, I wonder? What a fancy button. Yalla! That means let's go! Like total deja vu! Let's go, gang! Hey, Scoob! Get a load of those freaky tracks! Ghosts? Zoinks! You're right! They look like ghost tracks! Don't be silly! Ghosts don't leave tracks! Like I wonder what's behind this crazy cat. Crazy mouse? <laughs> Look, these tracks lead right into the back of the Sphinx. The tracks just disappear into the wall. There must be an opening of some kind. Like I hope not. This Sphinx is creeping me out. What are you doing? Leave that alone. Sorry, ma'am. We're just looking for a way inside. Inside the Sphinx? Yes. Look at those tracks. They disappear into solid rock. Great galaxies! You are right! Slippery saucers! Where are my manners? Greetings, fellow Earthlings. I'm Starry Skies, UFO investigator extraordinaire. And who are you? I'm Fred, and this is Daphne, Velma, Shaggy, and Scooby-Doo. We're investigators, too. We solve mysteries. Well, cloak me in rings and call me Saturn. What brings you to the Sphinx? We're searching for the mummy. I've been searching for him, too. Maybe I can help you. But first, I need you to help me. I'm having trouble with my mini computer. You need to put the objects in order, from tallest to shortest. Grab the objects with your mouse and drag them to the correct spot. When you're done, press the button. Not it. Try again. Now I can
can help you find this alien mummy. What's all this talk about aliens? There isn't any such thing. Is there, Shaggy? No comment. I think these pyramids are full of aliens. And the mummy just might be one of them. Creeping comets, that reminds me. Here's something that might help you. I found it in the bazaar. Suspects and clues. A Topeka phone directory? I wonder if the mummy's from Kansas. Here we are, back at the back. And we still don't know what those symbols mean. There's got to be something around here that could help us understand them. I wonder what those symbols mean. They sure look old. I bet if we find something to explain the symbols, we can follow those tracks. Are you sure? Let's have another look at the front of the Sphinx. Come on, gang, let's keep moving. Great! Like total deja vu! Let's go! Like, more food-related activities, please! <laughs> Let's go! Welcome, my friends, to Joseph's Big Rug Emporium. Everything to put on your floor. What's the difference between a carpet and a rug? About $1.99 a yard. My friends, still sleuthing, I see. Oh, I don't know, I don't know. My rugs are such a mess. Rugs that look alike should be put together. Could you help me organize them? See how nice my rugs look? I could stand here and look at them all day. Oh, that's enough of that. Thank you. Here, my friends, a gift for you. A little something I found that might help you in your mission. Thanks, Joseph. Suspects and clues. Look, a We're Not in Kansas Anymore t-shirt. Most folks around here weren't in Kansas to begin with. Most folks. And Edna Turnbuckle, the folks from Kansas. Well, that's enough shopping for now. We can always come back after we solve this mystery. Let's go. This is starting to look familiar. Creepy cat. That's right, Scoob. We're going back to the creepy cat. It's called a Sphinx. Those tracks are really strange. Back to the boat. Fresh fish. That's right, Scoob. We've got to get over to the ruins. Maybe Captain Masthead will give us a lift. Hoping to do better this time? Like this time, we know what we're after. The stone. 
the poinsettia stone. And this time we have a map. Let's have another look around. I hope Scooby's paws don't get tired. Okay, Scooby, dig up by the rock wall. According to the map, the poinsettia stone must be there. Scooby Dooby Doo! Way to go, Scooby Doo! Let's get that stone out of here. Are you sure? Let's get this stone across to the other side. That's quite a lumper you're keeping across the river. And we're carrying a heavy stone, too. Yeah, heavy. Let's get this stone over to the Sphinx. Come on, gang. Let's go back the way we came. Let's go. We're going back to the back. Like I can get behind that. Here we are, back at the back. And we still don't know what those symbols mean. There's got to be something around here that could help us understand them. Hey, look. These symbols are the same ones from the poinsettia stone. Let's press the symbols on the wall in the same order as they appear on the poinsettia stone. Try again. You'll get it. Try again. You'll get it. That's it. It looks like something's happening. <laughs> Zoinks! Let's get out of here. Well. Wait! It's some sort of door! And it's opening! Well, gang, let's get moving! Well, moving! Like Zoinks! It's not just creepy, it's dark and creepy! Well, creepy! This room is kind of small. There must be another room. Look for a door. This flashlight does the trick. In we go. Scooby Dooby Doo! Like, check out this groovy carving. It looks like the sun. And look here, there's a piece missing. Do we have the missing piece yet? Like, I think we only have half of it. Searching, gang. We're sure to find some answers. Come on, gang. We've got to keep one step ahead of the mummy. Let's keep searching, gang. We're sure to find some answers. Let's take another look at that door. Jinkies! That might just be the answer. <laughs> Come on, gang. Let's keep moving. Great! Like we've seen this before. Oh, you're. It looks like we're heading back into town. Hungry. Like, could we eat this time? Hmm, a bazaar. Bazaar? Sort of the ancient version of a mall. It has shops of all different kinds. Oh, I could go for a glass of a seer. Like Gazoonite. A seer means juice. Hello? Anybody got any food in here? Hey, look! What can we win here? Ow. 
Scooby Snacks, guys. It's a piece of a scarab-shaped medallion. I'll bet it's a clue. I wonder how it got in here. Like, let's check it out. I love a good game. Yeah. You want a cheeseburger? Cheeseburger! cheeseburger! Familiar. Let's go, gang. Hey, Scoob, get a load of those freaky tracks. Ghosts? Zoinks, you're right. They look like ghost tracks. Don't be silly. Ghosts don't leave tracks. Let's go. We're going back to the back. Like I can get behind that. Let's take another look at that door. Jinkies, that might just be the answer. Well, gang, let's get moving. Well, moving. Come on, gang. We've got to keep one step ahead of the mummy. In we go. Scooby Dooby Doo. Like, check out this groovy carving. It looks like the sun. And look here, there's a piece missing. Well, gang, we have the whole scarab medallion. Let's see if it fits. It couldn't hurt. Huh? What am I saying? Of course it could hurt. It fits perfectly. So it's... it's a door. The medallion was the key. It's my cousin. It's Thelma. Gad Sooks! Boy, am I glad to see you, Cousin Velma. I've been locked up here for ages. Locked up? But who did this to you? Oh, I never got a good look at who it was. They grabbed me from behind. But I've got my ideas. Let's keep searching, gang. We're sure to find some answers. The Mummy! <laughs> Who do you think the mummy is? Make your selection on the screen. The turnbuckles. It was you all along. Huh? Well, I guess I was wrong about them. Hmm. I guess the turnbuckles learned about the treasure from Thelma, then cooked up a scheme to scare everyone away. That way, they could make off with the treasure undisturbed. But this mummy came undone. They got careless. I would have had it all. Power, fame, fortune. Gosh darn it. I told you we were getting carried away, Edna. All this greed and avarice and whatnot. Looks like you'll be going back to Kansas without anything to show for your trip. Except shiny new handcuffs. You said it, Shaggy. And we would have gotten away with it if it weren't for you meddling kids. Well, well, well. Looks like we found our mummy. That's right, officer. A couple of would-be thieves who couldn't get things wrapped up. Scooby Dooby Doo! Do you really have to leave so soon? We haven't had time to catch up. Oh, I'm sorry, Velma, but I've got more mysteries to investigate. And so do we. Like, where you off to now? Addis Ababa. I've heard about a buried treasure there guarded by a zombie. Zombie? 
Y you run right along, and hey, we'll stay here. <laughs> oh, don't worry, Shaggy. There are no such things as zombies. That's what I keep telling him. Goodbye, Thelma. Goodbye, Goodbye. Thelma. Thank you so much. Ciao. See you later. So, gang, where to now? Paris? Athens? Istanbul? Somewhere with no mummies. Or roasts. But plenty of pancakes. Yeah, pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> Jeepers, that sure was an amazing adventure. Like I'll say, tomato, shawarma, fava beans. Well, fava beans. No, I mean about the mummy. M -m -m mummy Where? Yeah, where? Sounds like the boys are still a little scared. Huh? Like, no way, man. That mystery's all wrapped up. Get it? Wrapped up? Like a mummy? <laughs> Crickets? Some people have always believed in a connection between the pyramids and the supernatural. Anyway, the pyramids sure are impressive. Some people believe that aliens built the pyramids and used them as launching pads for their ships. Well, that doesn't sound very likely. My guess is they were built by the people for pharaohs like Anotep. Fred, are you reading from Thelma's notebook again? Uh, yes. Hey! Did any of you notice that the Sphinx didn't have a nose? It must have fallen off by one of Napoleon's soldiers when he invaded Egypt. Like leave it to Napoleon to take a bone apart. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, come on, Scoob. It wasn't that bad. It sure has been nice breathing that warm desert air. Yeah, but seeing Scoob in that desert made me think of lunch. How's that? Because he looked like one hot dog, man. <laughs> what? No comment? And that one doesn't get a comment? So, everybody, what's next? Like, what do you mean? Where do we go from here? Rudge, are you guys still hungry? Like, crime fighting requires a minimum of 5,000 calories per day, Fred. Where does he put it all? Well, y you see... On second thought, scratch that. I don't want to know. Like, school bowl, pal. Do you have any more of that gum? No. Not even half a piece? <laughs> Too late. Uh, Shaggy, could you stop that? Stop what? The humming. It clashes with the groovy music that's playing. But this is my slow jam. Fred, according to the maintenance records, the mystery machine is due for an oil change. Sure thing. Hey, and we're in the right place. Oil is one of Egypt's leading exports. Oil's well that ends well. Oh, boy. What? What? That's an old joke, even for you. They're not old. It, they're classics. Like your outfit? Yeah. Would that be a camping outfit? <laughs> <laughs> Don't mess with perfection, man. I'll agree with the mess part. I'm not so sure about perfection. Grungy is so last week. Well, gang, I guess we'd better be going. More exciting places to visit. More exciting things to learn. And I saw a sign up the road for the El Seco Pancake House. El Seco Pancake House? I think it's a chain. What do you say, old pal? Pancakes and corn fritters? Scooby-Dooby-Doo! Look for the entire line of Scooby-Doo Mystery Adventures CD-ROM products at your local retailer. <laughs>